ingredients in the recipe will be on my blog down in the description. Start with two cups of flour. This is self glazing but if you don't have self glazing you still do two cups of flour and you add two spoons of baking powder. Um, if you're using yeast, I have never made them with yeast, so I do not know, but <laughs> use the yeast how you think is best if you're used to using that. This is why I have plastic bag over my flour, is because I'm clumsy and I make a mess. The flour is in, you put your butter, okay? I'm using unsalted, but use whatever butter you prefer. It's just, it controls obviously the salt in it, so I prefer use unsalted. Uh, I left my butter out overnight so it's softer. Um, you don't have to do it overnight, it's just because I'm doing it early in the morning. I normally have to be here earlier, but it's, I want to take it easy on myself today. So just, you know, know when you're doing it. I would still leave it out a few hours so it's softer because you need to use your hand. Or if you don't like using your hand, you'll need to use um, a spoon or a utensil, but it might be longer with a spoon or maybe start with a spoon and then use your hands, but it's bread. Hand is the way to go. If you have a machine, um, I don't, but if you have a machine that, um, like a bread machine or something, I think you can use it to start it off, but you have to know how to measure the water that you're gonna put in it after. Another hat, I keep this until the end if I have to butter a pan or something. I think I'm making it in my mini oven instead of hotting up the big one. This is my pan I'm gonna use for the oven. I'll just butter it and that's it. First, before I touch this, cause you need to knead it, you need a glass of water. I have my glass already prepared. You might not use all, so just a fair warning. Okay, just add some salt to it. Use one hand to knead it and this other hand to add the water in. Okay, so this hand is clean. Pussy, and the other one is like, you know, less clean and won't go on your glass. So I would just knead it a little bit. Have one camera, so I'm going you to close up of how it looks. Getting the thing. Again, that's baking powder in here already in the flour. We'll see how it works. But if you have baking powder, you add the baking powder in and you knead it. Just get it a little bit like this. Now, I add the water with the salt, just a little bit, and you add it in as you go along. Just to show you again, you see how it's starting to get more together. forgot which is okay it's not too late that butter accompany it with oil I told you I forgot I forgot I forgot I almost forgot it's not too late see this is why you need to write it down you see I put um a half a stick of butter I didn't even give you all the measurements of the stick of butter that's my bad that's my bad see I three telling you I'm freestyling this I'm freestyling this okay so this butter is Four tablespoons, just put a little bit, like not a bunch. If in St. Martin we use Crisco with my mother, but I don't have Crisco here, so I just add some oil. I This is good seed, but add the cooking oil of your choice. That's what I have. And uh, how much oil? Mm, I should have measured. It's too late, it's already. <laughs> Me, I should have measured. Um, I think it's like a tablespoon I put. Yes, I put a tablespoon of oil. Add the flour here on the side, because sometimes, given the type of flour you're using, given the water, if a lot of things can happen, you might need to add more. This is what it looks like now. For now, you see? But you have to keep kneading it. And again, I'm kneading it with one hand. Like, if it gets too sticky, you need to add flour. This is add flour. This is why your clean hand is here to add flour, to add water. When people be like, wow, your arms are so muscly. Bacon. <laughs> that's how my arms are so muscly. It's bacon, I'm telling y'all. Making bread, that's the secret of my arms. 
<laughs> I work out now more regularly as well, but my arm was getting muscly before the dumbbells. I'm telling you, it's the bacon. When it, it's not a fast process by any means. In case you're like, wow, so slow. I'm not doing it as fast as this video. I probably skipped. <laughs> so until it's unneeded, remember that. At this point, I have stuff on my fingers. I'll put it together. It's starting to look put together. So you need it until like this and you need it a bit more until it's kind of smooth, but it's not as sticky. Yes, my hands look sticky because I didn't like take them off, but you'll see. <laughs> see that, that coming off, like you're seeing that coming off and going on the bowl. That's what you want. So I didn't use a whole glass. I use a half glass. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know the measurement of the water. That's why I use the glass to determine, hey, just put the glass, I put salt, and then I go, I do as I do. <laughs> See, like it's a bar, but I still think it's a little too sticky. Like it's less sticky, look at my hands, but it's still a little bit of, hmm. That was about a little bit of flour. That's okay. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to make a bunch. I'm trying to make enough I added too much flour that's okay this is a consistency you're looking for you see how it is it's okay if it's flat don't worry you're gonna leave it less and it's a Johnny cake Johnny cakes don't rise much so if it does rise don't laugh because I'm using baking powder <laughs> so I'm rising flour so I don't know how big it is but I already made biscuits with this it doesn't like rise so much so it looks like this and I find a Johnny cake is like a between of a biscuit and a bread so to me i think that's why i said i'm gonna still use it because it's open white open my newer flour just for this um it just was it wasn't that much flour more so it's okay you can put a dishcloth over this that's why i would do an iron to even here but i chose to do it in this tupperware so i can put the hood over i'm still gonna put a dishcloth so because it's transparent and i think the darkness helps it guys and you have to at least leave this in for 30 minutes um covered good news is no more ingredients to add it's only procedure from from now and moving forward maybe i'm still some maybe i'm not but i'm definitely making johnny cakes today you can call me rice because that's my nickname welcome if you don't know what's a johnny cake it's a Caribbean type of bread. I'm from Island St. Martin. Um, we eat them quite often. Breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, make a sandwich, eat it like that. It's just good. The recipe I have is like in my head. <laughs> I have self raising flour already open and it's been a while since I made bread. So I'm for the first time making Johnny cake with self raising flour. So if they don't turn out right, I actually have an excuse today. I have some things written down, but it's like not in measurements. It's more like visual things. Cool thing about this recipe is that Johnny cakes, if you make them like batch make them, you can put them in the fridge for other time or even in the freezer for a longer time and just remember to fast them. But once they're frozen, you can't put them back in the freezer. That's dangerous. Sorry, I almost forgot. <laughs> Good thing that much time passed. I literally remember while like um going to get the dishcloth. Again, you can leave it like this if you want to rest. But what I do, it's not cheating. But I technically, it's not technically, I just do that. So good thing I left flour. Roll it in like a tube for the next step. Roll it. Like just roll it like a tube. Smooth still, but like a tube. Easier, if it makes sense. To do the second part it's not easier you can still do the second part you just cut it differently but i don't think it's easier to cut okay it's easier to cut when you need it in a bowl i think it's better my counter because i already have to clean this because of my you'll need a surface for next part <laughs> just want it i normally you're not supposed to need in a bowl like i'm doing but it's just that I didn't want to go and use this surface as it already messed up, but it's okay. Try to make it as uniform as you can. Again, y'all leaving this to less, so it's gonna be fine. Don't think too much of it. Yeah, it looks like a U. U! 
so I realized something. <laughs> this is why you're not supposed to bake tired. I put too much butter. <laughs> because remember when I said oh I have notes of recipe but not really notes and in my head it's a half stick of butter but I have for those who know know like the brand weighs like several of them but small so I thought I don't know how because it was like this in a box so I thought I just saw this and I was like oh this not half these two half and so I take a whole stick of butter and added oil. I feel very nice. <laughs> this is why you're not supposed to do this tired. And again, I'm just trying this video. So just put one of these if you add the oil or just put two of these with no oil. I'm having extra buttery Johnny Cakes. Again, this recipe not right. So, and I'm doing a lot of things with the long flowers in my fridge open. I'm wasting energy here. With the long flower too, I'm setting myself up for failure. <laughs> it's come out decent. I need the like and the subscribe. Thank you. I left this less than an hour and I have the Johnny cake, the bread. And I have my sauces. I'm gonna put flour here and literally continue kneading it and show you the next steps when this opens. <laughs> Sorry for watching it, see? It's got a little fatter, and this is normal. We're gonna need again, but again, this is why you need the hard surface. We're gonna cut these as it's already in a tube. Cut these in like little balls, just make sure they're kinda similar, and you're gonna knead them and roll them up for them to rest. I'm gonna spread them out with a sheet of parchment paper that I can use after to put up the ones I freeze or put in the fridge. I don't know if I'm pleased and putting them in the fridge yet, um later so it's not gonna be like a waste you have to get them about the same size and you need it if that makes sense you need it just like that and you put it in a ball is this how i do it has to be like in a small ball and then you put it on the side and you continue that knead it a bit to make sure there's no chunk and it makes so much sense back to explaining until it's smooth you knead it until it's smooth It doesn't feel it's not feeling disgustingly too buttery and I think that's why the thing wasn't making like because I added flour so I think what I did is actually um instead of doing two cups I made two cups and a half maybe three because I did add flour to make it work and I think that's saving it so I don't think it's actually as much butter I, I have enough to, to do I have to do, if that makes sense? Because I added in the flour to compensate because the dough itself is not giving me, like look at my hand, it's not giving me too buttery. Like it's giving me normal butter, if that makes sense. But it is like normally this is harder. Like normally this is harder, so I'm a little worried. So these are 15. I'm going to get my tea. You're not seeing it, but it's boiling there. I'm going to turn off my stove, make sure it's off, and then put this. It's not safe to have your stove on and put cloth just in case of fires. And cover this and just leave it alone um, for at least, again, 30 minutes. But I, I always leave it minimum an hour. Even here, I came back an hour and a half. But leave it an hour, let it rest. Then you are ready for the last, last step. And I'm going to go quick because my battery is dying. This is what it looks like, still looks fine. I already sprinkled flour, etc. Again, my battery's dying, so I can't really show y'all everything. I need to charge it. So I'm gonna go and butter my pan with the leftover um, paper from the butter that I use too much of. <laughs> you put your Johnny cake here. The Let me bring you. <laughs> So 
this is a Johnny cake. Put the flour on the golden pen. If you don't have a golden pen, you can use a bottle. Just make sure there's flour on it just in case. So you roll it out like a bit. And then you take a fork. And you choke it. You have to take a fork and choke it. And that like leaves the, I don't know, it helps in the baking process of it, basically. It's in the science of the Johnny cake. You can put it on parchment paper as well. I put it in the pan. If you are saying, why is it flat? The guys in the oven, that's supposed to be kind of flat. You place them on the pan, make sure they're, you know, space apart. Try to do it in a circle, obviously, me, my circles. <laughs> I'm not looking the best. That's baking soda in this, um, it's baking soda, baking powder, so it should live. Let's do it in a star, like, shape. It doesn't matter, once there's holes in it, so it's not, so it's, it's like a sun. It's a sun. <laughs> I'm gonna preheat my oven and then show you the results at the end. It all depends on your oven, what temperature to put it on, like in my mini oven, um, it's at 350. I would say 350, maximum 400, and usually it's 20 minutes, 15. Um, if you're going lower, I, it could be 30, but I have never seen it. So it always depends on your oven, know your oven. I would say 15 minutes and check on it um, every like five minutes to see how it is. But normally for me, 20 minutes suffice. Um, 180 degrees. And for, I'm saying it in French, 180 degrees Celsius, um, 350 um, Fahrenheit. The Johnny cakes are done. So get them out. I burned them a little, not burned them. They're just very brown. Oh, they look white here, but they're not white. They're very brown. Oh, there goes the color. So they're very brown, but this is how they are. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one came out looking normal. This one's a little flat, but that's okay. It's the taste that counts. It's super hot. So I'm not gonna, literally I just got it out of the oven, so I'm not gonna taste test it. What I can do though is just show y'all texture so y'all don't feel like, wow, all this video and I even like tasting it. Um, let's go with a small one, cause it's the most um, like over big. <laughs> so it'll be the tester, but it looks good and it's the star. Oh, that's cute. Oh, now I notice it's the star. I keep calling it a star, it's a sun. So just open it. There we go. <laughs> it's so hot that I don't know how to open it. And this is the inside, basically. When you open it. Oh, look at the smoke. I don't know if my camera catches the smoke, but it looks proper. This is how it looks on the inside. It's like a flaky substance. It's cooked. It's cooked. Oh, well, this one I catch. It almost falls, so let me taste. Still got me to taste. It's hot. Honestly, the taste is there. I couldn't tell it's too buttery. At the same time, y'all know butter and stuff. I think that's not good for you. Sometimes it tastes better, but uh, it's hot. And the thing is, last yesterday I burned my gum from eating food too hot, and I'm gonna do it on the same side. It's okay. Run the pocket. And the salt is perfect. I don't know how much salt I put in that water, but just put a little to make it salty water. I would say maybe it's a, this is my measurement. I should have measured the, the salt. I think I put maybe a half tablespoon of salt. I think that way it was less, maybe a half of that. Do I have one fourth of this? I, there. I think it's a one fourth tablespoon of salt. I did, I eyed it. But that's what it pretty much is. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoy this Caribbean Johnny cake recipe. It's Caribbean bread. Let me know if you're gonna try it at home. And if you do, please do tag me on socials if you try my recipe. I would love to see what you make. And until next video, take care. Bye.